Hi there, and thanks for joining us here at Fleet Capital Market Watch. I'm Jin Rong, Equity Specialist from Fleet Investor Center. China launched its 5G commercial services to Chinese internet users in October, while Singapore unveiled plans to issue licenses to up to four 5G networks. This leads the telecommunications sector becoming the top net buy sector on SGX in October, which attracted net institutional inflows of 55.9 million. So what is the 5G hype about? Many people may see 5G as having increased speed and bandwidth. Other benefits include its low latency, which means faster response time. As information is delivered at a faster rate, this will allow autonomous vehicles to perform better and safer. When compared to 4G, the increase in connected devices catered by 5G density can be up to 100 times more. This will be crucial as the world sees an increase in connected devices in the IoT industry. The table here shows how 5G might transform the various industries ranging from manufacturing to transportation. Moving forward, a main factor that may drive demand for 5G includes growth in mobile data traffic. Demand for data has been on an exponential growth propelled by a rising number of smartphone subscriptions and an increasing average data volume per subscription. As users are spending more time streaming and sharing videos, this strong growth is expected to continue as video streaming evolves further into 360-degree video and augmented virtual reality. Another factor is the IoT industry, which is expected to grow at a compound annual growth rate of 18.9% over the next five years. With a growing number of IoT devices, which essentially means higher number of connections within the same network, they will need to depend on 5G to ensure proper functioning. For investors who wish to hop onto the 5G bandwagon, here are some examples of companies which may benefit directly from the 5G rollout. For income-seeking investors, you may look into major telecom carriers that offer a more stable and relative higher dividend yield. On the other hand, growth investors may look out for high-growth semiconductor makers or beneficiaries of 5G such as smartphone makers. For risk-averse investors, you can look to the different ETFs to tap on the 5G growth. For example, the Global Internet of Things ETF focuses on investing in developed market companies that facilitate the IoT industry. Investors may also invest in other ETFs as shown, which buy into telecommunications and data infrastructure companies. That's all for Fleet Capital's Market Watch. Do remember to like and follow us on social media and subscribe to us on YouTube. Also, tell us what you think. We'll be hopping onto the 5G bandwagon. Leave your comments. Thanks for joining us and see you soon.